I received a 20 watts laser engraver and cutter type D1 Pro from the company Xtool. In terms of hard and software the device differs from the laser machines I have tested so far. At 20 watts, the D1 Pro is by far the most powerful diode laser in my test lab. As always, high resolution photos of the package contents can be found on the website of how open is this gadget. The D1 Pro is delivered with largely pre-assembled components and a very detailed, fully illustrated assembly manual. Only 16 screws need to be tightened to assemble the frame... ...and the cables have to be plugged in and secured with zip ties, everything is done very quickly and you really can't do anything wrong. The axes are guided by ball bearing steel rollers along round steel rods. The mechanism on the two sides of the Y axis shows no noticeable backlash, nothing wobbles or bends here. The guide along the X axis to which the laser head is attached has a spring loaded suspension of the lower, third steel roller. This means that the laser head can be moved relatively easily by hand. But during operation, the spring tension is sufficient to hold the laser in place. Both sides of the Y axis are driven by just one stepper motor. The pulley on the second side is connected to the motor shaft by a round rod. With this system, the axes remain at right angles even when the machine is switched off. The timing belts are tensioned very conveniently at the ends with the deflection rollers. Just one screw needs to be loosened... ...the desired tension has to be set with a second screw... ...and finally the first screw has to be re-tightened. This system is used for all three timing belts. There are limit switches at both ends of both axes. A total of four optical switches prevents the laser head from being moved to positions outside the maximum working range. If the homing command is sent, the laser head moves to the left rear. If everything is adjusted correctly, both axes run smoothly. The maximum working area is 43 times 39 centimeters. All moving mechanical parts are well protected inside the frame. As already mentioned, the laser module with the label MD Pro L20 has a maximum output power of 20 watts at a wavelength of 445 nanometers. With a voltage of 24 volts at up to 3 amps, this corresponds to an electric input power of 72 watts. The laser module is prepared for air assist. A second laser diode emitting a low power red light beam projects a crosshair onto the workpiece, making it very easy to position the laser head. The laser module is focused by adjusting the height above the workpiece so that the fold out tool touches the surface. If thicker material is to be cut, the focus point can be placed under the material surface, the tool can be adjusted accordingly via a printed scale. The main board is placed well protected at the front of the frame. The on off switch as well as the sockets for the power supply and the USB interface are soldered directly onto the circuit board. A push button is activated via a press button at the top of the frame. This allows the machine to be stopped quickly should something go wrong with the job. A fairly loud piezo buzzer is used to output acoustic signals. 
The two drivers for the stepper motors are located under a rubber block that serves as a stop for the circuit board on the frame. G-code files can be processed directly by the machine via a microSD card reader. An ESP32 with integrated VLAN is used as microcontroller. According to the manufacturer, the firmware is an in-house development whose source code is classified as top secret and it is not fully compatible with Gabel. The closed source philosophy also applies to the software for controlling and configuring the machine, for which there is also no Linux compatible version available. As a confessed ambassador of open source solutions, only data transfer via microSD card remains, because programs such as LaserGabel or Universal G-Code Center do not work with the firmware of the D1 Pro. The file to be processed must be saved on the SD card under the name tmp.gcode, then pressing the start button is sufficient to process the job. Here a graphic is engraved on a piece of plywood. As usual, the bitmap graphic is processed line by line. Since engraving wood is one of the rather easy tasks, a laser power of only 13% is sufficient to carbonize the surface and thus transfer the graphic to the workpiece. As always, high resolution photos of the result can be found on the website of how open is this gadget. Xtool provides very precise information on which materials can be engraved or cut, so I will largely skip that in this video. As usual, I use a stack of 2mm cardboard to test the cutting performance. A 6 pointed star is cut out. The laser power is set to 80% and the cutting speed is adjusted so that two layers of cardboard are cut through in one pass. This works with the D1 Pro at a cutting speed of 240mm per minute. The next test is to engrave stainless steel. Here too, a laser power of 80% is used. A test pattern consisting of wavy lines and circles is engraved. The speed is gradually increased from left to right. There are also high resolution photos of the result and further information on the test procedure available on the project page. For particularly thick workpieces, the frame of the machine can be set up to 9cm higher with screwable feet. Engraving a graphic on a can with a lathe mechanism included in my package also requires the frame to be raised. The lathe is driven by a separate stepper motor. This stepper motor is connected to the main circuit board instead of the Y axis motor, which must be done while the machine is switched off, otherwise the stepper motor driver could be damaged. The graphic is also processed line by line, with the can being rotated for a fraction of a degree after each line. The lathe comes with many adapters so that nearly any cylindrical surface can be engraved. As always, there are many high resolution photos of the contents of the package, the assembly steps, the finished machine and the examples shown in this video on the website of how open is this gadget, have a click. 
With that you can get an even more detailed picture of the D1 Pro from Xtool. Thanks for watching and I'll be back.